Hey, hello, uh, John Joseph Angelini. It is November 12, 2021, and for those of you that know me, that have talked to me, you must know, you do know, that I deal with my landlord every day. Every day it consumes me, every day he kills my children. I, and yes, kill, yeah, look up the definition. There's a bunch of different ways to define it. And forgive me, I'm having headphone issues. So, every once in a while, I paint stuff. I make stuff. I paint stuff. Look at Alexa. Look at her outfit. Yeah, I made it. Look at all of these things. I do them. I do these things. I make them. I make this. I make them, I make this, I make this, I make them, I make this, I make this, I make them, I work on this, I make them. So, oh, this one, it's not on right now, but a dude I've never met before, I've never seen before, ever. I, I went out and I spray painted. I'm doing a frame, I'm gonna give it to Oleg next week. And Gut said, do it tomorrow? No, do it right now. So, it's four pieces of wood. It's these sides. One, two, three, four. And yeah, I spray painted outside in the vestibule, or the moat as they call it. They change it back to vestibule. And a dude I never fucking saw before just fucking freaked the fuck out and yelled at me. And in my opinion, my opinion, my landlord, well, this is not an opinion. This is fact. My landlord is looking for every fucking reason to call me a nuisance. He's proved it, I can send you the emails. I ain't no fucking nuisance. And that dude, whoever the fuck he is, my landlord been waiting, this is opinion. Allegedly, my landlord's been waiting for something to use against me, and there's a chance that on this November 12, 2021, was it November 13th now? November 13th, 2021. My landlord gonna juice that against me. Although, that's not nuisance. No. Nuisance has to be repetitive behavior. No one is complaining about me painting out there. So, just in case. Just in case. My gut is wrong. I don't know. My gut is my mom. My gut is the universe. My mom is the universe. Gut never wrong. Uh, I'm posting this right now as it's offensive defense. Defensive offense? Without offense. They're coming after me. They're killing my children and I. The they is my landlords. James Hal McMath, or actually James McMath from this recent lease. Sakai Takushima and Sakai Takushima, the owner of this unit, apartment, uh, the building board of directors, and the building management. They want any fucking, excuse my language, they want any reason, they want every reason to get me out of here. I didn't do anything wrong, man. And how many videos have you seen? I point to this every goddamn time. Mice will never, like mold, the wet wall, the mice. They're looking for any reason. Anything. And to see a fucking stranger and to have him say, my friend is having a party. No, he didn't say that. I'm at my friend's house and we can smell paint. No, he said, I. He said, I am having a party. I've never seen this dude ever. To me, this is, this is a fact that my opinion is they're looking for everything, anything. So, who the fuck is that dude? And yeah, I spray painted in the fucking, I was in the vestibule spray painting. And it ain't even a vestibule, it's a moat. It's not even a moat. There are no rules. There are no fuck, excuse me. There are no rules. There's nothing in the lease or the building rules and regulations 
that says what I can or cannot do out there. If my dogs are out there, it didn't say you can't have dogs out there. It didn't say I can't paint out there. It says I cannot... But It says I can't fuck with the neighbors. Okay. If I do fuck with them, it's an oops. I just did that. I'm like, dude, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. No one ever said anything about painting out there. So that's not nuisance. That's first time. And considering the stress that I'm under, that I'm being suffocated by, choked with, from landlord and landlord and unit owner, apartment owner, building board of directors and building management, it's fair for me to be a bit stressed. I did nothing wrong, man. My babies did nothing wrong. There's still mice in here and still killing mice. Come on, man. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't like who, like this is me? Pest block, right? And it's because of the kitchen. So, just in case. And also it's an update. Oh, and look. Maybe just to add some positive. Did I show you that this is... Yeah, we're working on art because it's an escape. This is an escape from being murdered. We're constantly being murdered. We didn't do anything wrong. We did everything right. So, this is my defensive offense, or my offensive defense. A dude I never seen before just said that he is having a party and his guests are upset or some shit. I spray painted four pieces of wood in this patio moat vestibule. There is no anything and any piece of paper that says that I can't paint out there. I can't have my dogs out there. It's about disturbing the neighbors. Okay. Okay. It has to be consistent, man. Like, okay, oops. Yeah. So, again and 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 again again. The landlord is killing me. He's killing my dogs. He's killing me. He's murdering me, which then also murders my dogs. He has transitivity property. It's sort of, it's abuse. It's full-blown harassment. The dude has harassed me. He threatened to kill me. And then he's coming through with his threat. He really is. Like he threatened to kill me. You are dead, motherfucker. June 30th, 2021. And that's not the only threat against my life. That's the best one, I guess. Every day sucks. Every day I'm afraid. Every day, all day, I fight mice so my babies don't die. I fight. I fight to keep them alive by killing things. I have to kill mice. And I'm desperately afraid, desperately afraid that James McMath, my landlord, is not just passively killing me, which he is doing by not fixing these things for how long? Yeah, a long time fucking time actively killing me and productively I'm afraid of what he will fucking do to me he's already doing a bunch of shit that is killing my children killing me and he said you were dead motherfucker since then he's done some things yes that he's okay he's coming he's He's got gumption. He's a man of his word. What else is he willing to do, capable of doing? Oh my good fuck. Who the fuck was that dude? The dude wearing a, I don't know, it's like, let's call him 6'1, call him 220. Uh, white dude. Um, brown hair, not short, not long wearing a blue, navy blue t-shirt and said something like C something uh, with white lettering on it. 
And I never seen this motherfucker. And the fact that he came out that fucking fast. Dude, I, it's four pieces of wood. He screamed from across the street. And then came around and looked down here. So, to finish. I have enough evidence against my landlord to say, legally, I can say this based on my evidence. Although, legally, I will say, allegedly, although I can prove it, allegedly, my landlord is looking to do anything to fuck me. Yes, I know, it's not a legal term, fuck me. That dude, it's another reason for me to be afraid. So this is not a legend. I am more afraid every single time I hear a knock on the door or the door open or someone scream, I'm afraid that my landlord's going to fucking kill me. I don't need to be a legend about that. That's real. I'm afraid that he's going to fucking kill me because he's actively doing it. I never told it doesn't tell anyone. John Joseph Benjamin. The saga of are we going to die today? Or maybe we have to murder a bunch more things? Or maybe my dogs die today. I just took Leon to the vet yesterday because of leptospirosis. Do November 13th, 2020.